Hey, I'm Aaron Penn. And I'm Talon Craft with the Dark Side Empire Car Club. And we're here to install the 2008 Plus WRX STI downpipe from Cobb. And these are going to be the tools needed for the install. About this time is where you're going to want to put it up on a jack stand, or in our case, a lift. Now, it is an option to keep in or remove the factory intercooler. Uh, because we are running the aftermarket Process West uh, intercooler, we're gonna go ahead and remove that just for easier access to the downpipe. All right, now at this point, you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove the upper factory heat shield. Uh, that's gonna consist of eight 10 millimeter bolts. Hang on to that, because once you get that out, you can actually trim that to fit with the new downpipe. As you can see though, we've already opted to upgrade to the Cobb um, upper heat shield. Looks way nicer, also a little bit easier to install. Right around this point, you're gonna wanna take off the, uh, the upper bolts off the turbo. You're gonna need a 14 millimeter open box wrench and a 14 millimeter socket. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the two 10 millimeter bolts from the heat shield on the up pipe. Here and here. All right, now that we got the heat shield off, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the nuts off the lower flange of the turbo. Here, here, and here. The next step is to remove the two 14 millimeter bolts from the transmission located here and here. Next, go ahead and disconnect your O2 sensor. Last two bolts to remove are the spring exhaust bolts, 14 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter box wrench. All right, now the only tricky part uh, to removing the exhaust is this little clip right here. Just grab a little screwdriver and just pop it in there just to help release it from its and you're gonna go ahead and just pull it off and lower it down slowly so it's out of the way. Once you get your downpipe off, go ahead and grab your O2 sensor socket, remove the O2 sensor. Once you get that removed, you're gonna wanna grab your anti-seize that we talked about earlier. Go ahead and get that placed on the threads. Be sure not to get it on the sensor itself and then go ahead and reinstall that in the new downpipe. All right, next we're gonna be um, tightening down the, the, the upper O2 bung. Um, this is for an optional either EGT or a wideband O2 sensor. Um, if you're not going to be installing it, go ahead and torque this down to 25 foot-pounds with your 10 millimeter Allen head. Don't forget to reinstall the stock donut gasket. Alright, so we're ready to install the new Cobb downpipe. One thing you want to check is go ahead and look up and make sure that your factory gasket is still in place on the turbo. Then you're going to want to slide this on up, get this set on the studs, nice and neat. Swing the rear into place, reinstall your spring bolts, 12 foot-pounds of torque on the rear, 25 foot-pounds on the flange and the downpipe on the hardware to the turbo. And don't forget anti-seize. Now once you get the new downpipe all installed, Make sure that you go ahead and install the lower portion of the heat shield with the two 10 millimeter bolts, one right here and one right here. Now that we have the car lowered back on the ground, we're gonna go ahead and install the two top bolts and their nuts to the turbo. Make sure you torque them down to 25 foot pounds. Once we get that installed, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the heat shield. Now, remember on your factory heat shield, you have to get that trim to fit, or in our case, we went ahead and upgraded to the Cobb heat shield and it only installs with three bolts instead of the eight on the original one. Intercooler's back in, everything's all buttoned up. Scale of uh, hard to easy, this one's probably a medium. Stay tuned to our channel for future installs. Peace. Tuning disclaimer, vehicle may need retuning after this product is installed. Please review install instructions for proper OTS maps.